Hello, Blessed Sacrament, and welcome to another installment of my weekly update. I got a few things for you this week. This weekend's uh, an awesome reading. You're going to hear about the sower and the seed this weekend, and it's a reading we hear all the time. But I'm just going to ask that we might be open to receiving that in a new way. We read the scriptures over and over and over. Uh, The reason we do that is because we change from day to day, from week to week, from year to year. And so we read this reading, uh, and the prayer that I have for you is that myself and all of us might be able to receive what the Lord needs us to receive this weekend, uh, that we might bear great fruit 30, 60, or 100-fold. And so that's the first thing. The second thing, I just returned back from the junior clergy retreat. It was a great blessing. I got this picture of the cathedral behind me because it was just with all my brothers. That's where we were uh, ordained, um, six classmates of mine, and there were or five classmates of mine and I, I should say. And anyhow, just all of the junior clergy, 10 years and under, were together. And I just felt this great gift of being together as brothers and priests uh, to now be sent back to our parishes Uh, with the grace of the Holy Spirit after being inspired with some good talks and um, some good camaraderie and brotherhood together. So hopefully all of our brothers come back on fire for the faith and ready to share the good news. This is uh, one last update about the Traveling Monstrance. It's Traveling Monstrance. It's coming this coming Thursday, the 20th. So if you can, please come bring your children, family, whoever you can, whoever you want to bring, 6.30 p.m. this coming Thursday night. Uh, to take part in the diocesan traveling monstrance, which is traveling all over the diocese, and uh, should be an exciting time to spend time before the Blessed Sacrament uh, together as a parish at Blessed Sacrament on this Thursday, this coming Thursday night, the 20th, 630. Uh, another thing, less important, but uh, still kind of cool news. This Sunday, the 16th, I just learned, is National Ice Cream Day. So I don't need many excuses to go get ice cream, but I'm definitely going to be going to get some ice cream this weekend uh, on Sunday to celebrate National Ice Cream Day. So please, go get some ice cream this Sunday. And lastly, as I close today, uh, I gave to you all this Come Rain in Us prayer this weekend at the Masses. There's more coming. I'm hoping they're going to be here in time for this weekend. If not, they'll definitely be here in time for next weekend. I'm just going to close with that litany at the end, uh, because I try to keep these around three minutes, but that litany at the end, I'm just going to pray that with you. Oh, Jesus in the Eucharist, King filled with compassion, come reign in me and in my family. Oh, Jesus in the Eucharist, King of infinite mercy, come reign in me and in my family. Oh, Jesus in the Eucharist, King who is all truth and beauty, come reign in me and in my family. Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, Protector of the Holy Family, help us to love Jesus and to entrust ourselves completely to him. O Jesus in the Eucharist, Prince of Peace, come reign in us. And ask the Lord's blessing over you all as you go about this week. May God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Look forward to seeing you guys soon. God bless you.